What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna show you how to install VIP Shop Management uh, server um, installation. This is a local database, uh, which means your data is gonna be saved on your computer. And uh, this is one time payment, $350. Uh, before, you, before you install it, you need to make sure that you, you meet the system requirements. Uh, number one is you must have Windows 10. Uh, number two, the monitor resolution must be 1920 by 1080. This is our minimum resolution, and this is our preferred resolution. Um, to check your monitor resolution, just right click anywhere on the desktop and go to display settings and scroll down where it says display resolution. Make sure it's set to 1920 by 1080. If it doesn't go higher than that, that means your, your monitor is not full HD, and the only way around it is to replace your monitor. After you set to 1920 by 1080, make sure the scale is set to 100%. Once you meet those, um, you're ready for installation. Um, to start uh, the download, you need to go click on VIP Shop Management up here and just click on Downloads. And this is our the requirements first. There's three requirements first. And then this is the application itself. This application for the server and for the client. So the first step, we need to go in sequence. So we need to go number one, number two, and number three. And number two is the hardest step. If you have a problem with number two, I'm gonna be linking uh, a link. Uh, I'm gonna put in a link on this video at the bottom, um, just troubleshooting for installing MySQL because MySQL could be really tricky. And it's only really tricky if there's something on your computer. So anyway, let's gonna go ahead and start with number one. Number one is really simple, um, it's basic. Um, if you get this message, that means it's already installed on your computer. If not, just click next and it takes five seconds and you'll be all set. Um, number two, number two, which is the, the hardest one is number two. Everything else is easy. Number two, it's uh, MySQL database. This is what gonna uh, save your data in it. And it's a really powerful tool. Um, we love it. So we're gonna click on download. And uh, so when we download, what we're downloading right now is just an installer, basically. But it's it can't be really tricky. Like you gotta follow each step what I'm doing right now. And if you ran into a problem, like I said, I'm gonna have a, a video linked um, to troubleshoot it and help you overcome this problem. Because I'm a computer programmer and I ran into a problem sometimes. And click yes and click yes and this is the first crucial point if you click yes it's gonna give you a problem you gotta make sure to click no and they're always trying to upgrade and all that just click no and at this step you need to select server only and then click next and then click next and that warning you're not gonna see that like I said if you have any issues um, we're gonna have a video um, included just click execute and so what's happening right now is downloading uh, the server and then and now it's gonna install it so this is gonna be depending on your internet speed and once it's complete click on next click on next and don't change anything right here click on next and right here make sure you click on that and choose server computer and then click on next and we need to create a password this is very important because we cannot change that password we only create it one time so make sure you write it down And once you click on, if it says medium, that's okay because it's just a local database. So click on next. Um, again, you're not gonna see that problem because this is just because I'm, I'm doing something else, but just click on next um, and then click on execute. And this shouldn't take long either. It depends on how fast your computer is. And then just click on finish and then click on next and finish. So that was the hardest part it's really simple it is hard if you don't follow the steps and once you're lost you're really lost and that's why i'm going to be including the other video so people if they got uh, into a problem what what can they do to fix the problem 
All right, now we're gonna do number three. Number three is just for the browser inside VIP Shop Management. All Windows, the new Windows 10, will have it included anyway, but we, we cannot tell unless we install it and try to install it. So we're gonna, so always try to install it. Number three, yes, is required. We're gonna click on open after it downloads. And it takes like here a second, so just be patient with it. It takes like a second to load. And so you can't see anything and all of a sudden it pops up just like it happened. And then it kind of try to install Microsoft Edge. In this case, it says it's already have a better version. So you're all set. If you get this message, you're all set. If not, otherwise, it's gonna install it and tell you it's complete. Now let's get to the easiest part, which is VIP Shop Management application. We're gonna click on uh, download open and we're gonna click on uh, I agree and we're gonna make sure we're gonna click on server installation and this is where we need to enter the MySQL password that we just created if you use like when we send you the product key we send you a password with it if you did use that password so you don't have to worry about the password which is kind of cool but if you did choose your own password make sure you type the password right here and make sure you click on save. If you get this message, I mean everything went, went, went smoothly. If not, then make sure you watch the video, um, uh, the second video with the link on the bar. Click continue, and at this step, you need to click on create. Um, uh, if, you're, if, you, if you're already an existing customer and you wanna bring your data back, then when you can restore it from, uh, uh, from your flash drive. Right now, we're just gonna click on create click yes from here on it's really simple basically you just click select the country click our repair shop continue type in your your information and this uh, in this step you can always change this stuff later on so it's not a problem if you made a mistake um, And just make sure you add the contact name and click on save continue uh, this step we need to sign in with the Gmail um, uh, with Google so you need a you need a Gmail account if you don't have one for your shop just create one it's for free um, uh, even if you hate Google whatever the case is um, just uh, use it for your own advantage because we use the Google here um, just to send an email back and forth and it's free and it's easy and has a lot of functionality to it so type in your Gmail account. Um, let me see if I can type something else. And click on sign in with Google. It's gonna bring you right here when you click on, so it's gonna take you outside of the application. Make sure you select the same email that you typed in. And it's gonna ask you uh, to grant permission so you can send emails from inside the application there's two of them and click allow and once you do that you go back to the application it's going to get to give you the continue and it's right here you can continue from here and in this step you need to um, type in your product key and click on activate um, i don't have a product key sadly right now so yeah i mean you all said this is it just type in your product key and you can see the whole thing going um Funny that I don't have a product key. But anyway, um, I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, thanks for watching.